There's two extraordinarily large problems within the home that I see that Maple is trying desperately hard to tackle. One is just the basic premise thinking that most households run under the 80-20 principle, right? So in 1950, four out of 10 children had dual working parents. Today's number is nine out of 10, right? And so the difference being in 1950, we had this very rigorous kind of system in place that dad was going to work, mom was staying home, dad was making a paycheck, mom was running the household. In 40% of households today, mom is actually making more money than dad. But in almost all households, she's doing more work at home than dad. So there's a tremendous amount of friction and frustration at home around just the actual labor and planning of the house, right? It's so tacky and so cheesy, but it's it's so true that if you ask most dads, who's your kid's teacher? Like they don't know the name. Who's your kid's doctor? They don't know the name. When was the last time your kid was at the dentist? They're like, uh, I don't know, right? Who's planning the vacations? Who's buying the groceries? Who's folding the clothes? Who's? You start going down this laundry list of things and almost always the answer returns back to my wife or mom, right? But she's also doing a nine to five job. The second problem is that being organized is a skill. There's a reason why a lot of people are not organized. It, <laughs> there's a reason why people are obsessed with companies coming in and cleaning out their pantry and organizing their life. There's a reason why a lot of good leaders recognize their own shortcomings and they have the privilege opportunity to hire an admin to help them organize their day, organize their life. Most parents don't have the skill sets to do that, right? And so life feels incredibly chaotic because the biggest dirty secret about parenting is that, and I'm sure you're probably feeling this right now, is that right around the time your kids turn two, you become an administrative assistant to your kids right? You're balancing their school schedule, pick up and drop offs. All of a sudden you are the admin to your kid. And if you don't have the tools and you don't have the organization around that, that admin responsibility comes, falls solely on mom's shoulders. And mom is now trying to balance administrative work for her household, her job, and actually running the household. And so just the general disorganization and chaos of not being able to keep everybody on the same page creates a tremendous amount of frustration. You know, we not only can build happier homes, we're building healthier children because kids feel that stress, tension, the offset of the relationship between their parents. 